So today I'll be showing you how to put your iPad in recovery mode. Now for this one, you need an iPad, you need a computer. The Mac is probably the best option, but if you have a Windows computer, you can go ahead and use that. Just make sure you have iTunes installed and ready to go on that Windows computer. Also, if you have an older computer or an older Mac, then make sure you install iTunes. But for, the, for this newer Macs and the newer iPads, you just need to use the Finder app. Just make sure the computer is on. And then you also need a data cable to connect between your iPad and that computer. So since this is a Type-C iPad and Type-C MacBook, I'll just go ahead and connect my Type-C to Type-C cable. And once those two are connected, I should be ready to go. Now on the computer, you might get a prompt to allow accessory to connect. So just make sure you select allow on that computer. And then on the iPad as well, you'll also get the option to trust this computer, select trust. Now, once you do that, you might be required to enter your passcode. And then now you've established communication between the iPad and the computer. Once you do that, then now you're ready to get into recovery mode. So to enter recovery mode, you need to press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button until the iPad goes into recovery mode. So let's go ahead and do this together. So volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this button. Just ignore what you see on the screen, which is that uh, power off menu. Just ignore that and continue holding. Keep holding. Screen goes dark, just keep holding. You'll see the Apple logo shortly. There you go. But that just continue holding, don't let go. And as you can see, the iPad is now in recovery mode. That is basically how to put your iPad in recovery mode. You can also tell it's in recovery mode because you'll see a prompt uh, from either iTunes for all the computers and Windows computers or from Finder in these newer computers. So once uh, once that is like that, you can now proceed to your computer and do whatever you needed to do, whether it's to restore or to update your iPad. Now I'm just gonna cancel this. And as you can see, I can proceed if I wanted to. And, but that's basically how to put your iPad in recovery mode or in DFU mode. Now to exit this mode, all you have to do is pull this uh, cable out, just disconnect the cable and then long press on the power button until you see the Apple logo and then you can let go and allow the iPad to boot back into iPad OS. But that is basically how to put your iPad in DFU or recovery mode. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.